Okay, I'm going to bring in now uh, Dr. Adam Bona, who uh, is a watcher of uh, you know governance issues in this country. Um, he's also a security expert. Doc, good evening to you. You you had uh, you know bits and pieces of my interview with Obrimpo Himadechi the uh, 14th of of Upper Discov Traditional Council. Your thoughts on the statue erecting a, a tradition that seems to be cropping up. Well, good evening, Kameni. It's, it's shameful and disgraceful, uh, to say the least. I want to believe that the first university that was erected in the north, the UDS, was erected, you know, by the use of the late uh, President Rawlings' own money that was donated to him. But when you go onto the UDS campus, I don't think you would see any uh, statute of assault. I think he even disagreed when they wanted to name it after him. That is humbling. I think, uh, you know, you has the one in the voter region. I think it was erected by John Dramani Mahama, His Excellency. Uh, I haven't seen a bust. And so you can talk about Nkroma, the good old motorway, and so many, you know, uh, structures in this country that you can name after Nkrumah, you can say Nkrumah built them from the scratch, including the Akosombo Dam. Let's erect Kwame Nkrumah's uh, statute in front of uh, as you are entering Akosombo, just so we can uh, make Kwame Nkrumah happy in his grave. It, it's, it's needless. Mm -hmm. And you have, a, I don't know whether it's a cabinet decision, but you have you know, some appointees of this government also erecting these things, including the one that has been disgracefully installed within the Yoko vicinity. Hmm. And I would want to call it the Obatamboni Corruption Gardens. And I say so because, I mean, we all know what Yoko is supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. and they are doing the reverse. And so to have Yoko workers as if to say that the facility called Iyoko belongs to them and they are children and generation, and therefore they unilaterally could erect a bus for, you know, uh, their boss, who uh, to them, and I believe that she might have paid for it. And mine is that no one seems, no one seems to have questioned her when she said that she didn't even know that they are doing it. That is itself a red flag. That should mm. have led the president to dismissing her. But I don't believe the president Very would well. do that. I mean, wh wh when you listen to Obrim Paul, Obrim Paul suggests that uh, this really had nothing to do with the president. It was a surprise for the president. The uh, chiefs themselves had come together to make their contribution to put up the, the statue. Well, mine is that uh, so we are in the season of surprises and the season of uh, Iyoko Dobatam Boni, uh, you know, corruption gardens at Iyoko named after Mami Atiwa. So she said it was a surprise. This one to the, the chiefs and people are saying it was a surprise to the president. You see, you heard other people saying they will take it down. I am told that the one at the, you know, uh, in the Western region, uh, some indigents have threatened to pull it down, and the same thing, you know, to the Ioko one. Right. It means that we have a security situation at hand. And I'm told that the one in the Western region is under 24-hour surveillance and 24-hour security. Why should we do that to ourselves? But, but why, can't the, why can't, Doc, why can't the president be appreciated? Why can't the president, you know, have a statue of himself somewhere? Be appreciated for doing what? For well, electing him and paying him and paying his house help and buying his fuel and, uh, you know, taking care of him and making sure that he will never need anything till he dies. I mean, is that what you are saying? The, the, the infrastructure you see, did it come from his pockets? It is from the taxpayer. And so mine is that he cannot say he should be appreciated. If the people of Ghana deem it fit to appreciate any leader, even if he's a school prefect, at any given point, would duly really do so. And so mine is that it is needless. Self-aggrandizing 
And you know, uh, to say the least, that uh, the, if this is just a security challenge the president is leaving us whilst he was he is on his way out. Oh, in, in I, I mean, I, I, how, uh, can you explain that? How is that a security challenge he's leaving us? Do you have someone in the Western region say, we will take this thing down? Do you know what that means? It means some people are going to drag it and break it down. And you would need the security agencies to either stop them or to look on. I have had tons of messages sent to me when the one erected disgracefully within the Iyoku uh, corruption gardens was done. Mm. And they're telling me, I mean, people sent it to me, young people, some I don't know them, saying that they would break through the gate when the day comes to take down that one too. I are, see. We, are, are we not living... Uh, you know, security challenge behind. Mm. Are we will, 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 you, will you then be telling people to put a stop to this practice? No, I'll tell them to put a stop to it and tell them to go through due process to bring them down. But the truth is that, I mean, uh, I won't be there. I won't be standing there. But I can only appeal that they shouldn't take the loss into their own hands because then that is not how we are supposed to behave. But why should our leaders be doing this? On, I mean, now... Fortunately or unfortunately, we don't have a, what do you call that, the uh, tow boat any longer. And I don't know, excuse me to say, for those who are eating. Those days, toilets, the moment there's change of government, people run amok, they take over tow boots, they take over toilets. So what is going to happen if we are not careful, even though I won't encourage it, is that when there is change of government, these bastards are going to be taken down. Security officers, are they able to control it, even though I don't support it? And mm. so mine is that the president is on his way out. He signed out. He checked out. What he can do for us is to go humbly instead of, you know, uh, all these things we are seeing. I think they Indeed. are needed. Uh, eh? Doc, Doc, I appreciate you talking to us. Indeed, Doc, Thank I appreciate you, you talking to us. Thank you so much. Dr. Adam Bona is a security expert. He's also a, a government watcher and a commentator. We've been talking about the erection of statues of the president and another uh, official of the government.